Hi there, this is Maan Haddad here again. I have decided to make a new video and in this video I'm going to show you how you can block PUBG Mobile application. So all the traffic of PUBG Mobile, you can block it using the MicroTech router. Because there are a lot of people saying that, all right, we do have the internet working, we are sharing the internet inside our network using the MicroTech router OS. But there are some employees who are playing PUBG on their mobile while it is on the working time or possibly a father that he knows that his kids are playing PUBG on their mobile, also you want to block that. So there are not really a lot of information how you can block PUBG mobile on the internet, also on YouTube, you will not find that. So I'm going now to do this video to show you with the lab how you can block the PUBG mobile. So I'm talking here about the mobile only, not the one which you run it on Steam, for example. So it's only the one you run it on the mobile, how you can block them. So we are going to capture all those Steam mobile servers, and then we are going to put them in an address list, and then we are going to apply a filter rule against that, so we will block it. And I'm going to show you this on live. So I'm going to make the conversion on the MicroTik router, and then after that, I'm going to run PUBG. I don't play PUBG, but just to show you that uh, at the end, we are going to be able to block PUBG. So this is what we are going to do. If you are ready, let's go directly and start the lecture and the lab to show you how you can block PUBG mobile traffic using MicroTik Router OS. So at this moment, I do have this uh, router. This is my home router, actually. And on this router, I do have internet. If, if you want, we can just check that. So if I ping to a.a.a.a, .a .a .a, you see I have internet. And actually, this is a, a cloud router switch CRS. And uh, this one is giving internet for my home. So now my computer, if I go to the CMD, and from my computer, if I try to ping to, for example, google.com, I do have internet. All right, very good. So at this moment, I have also my phone. So this is my phone. I have uh, also installed the PUBG uh, mobile uh, um, application. So uh, to tell you, I never played the PUBG. I don't know. <laughs> what PUBG does, so I have uh, seen that it's uh, something like uh, to do war and but yeah, I know a lot of people are always saying that PUBG, PUBG, so that's why I have decided to make this video. So the PUBG is there, my phone is connected to that router taking the internet. Now, how can we block people to not be able to use the PUBG mobile? So to find out uh, the PUBG mobile is uh, for the ports is uh, not very easy. So uh, I have made a lot of research and I have found out some information. So we have to create, this is, I'm going to leave that for you on the video. So we have to create the uh, uh, Mango rules to capture the uh, PUBG servers. So uh, I have seen that PUBG works on those two ports on TCP. And on UDP, they wo it works on the ports between 10,000 and 30,000. I know that some people will say from 10,000 to 30,000, we have 20,000 ports. Is PUBG going to use all those ports? So the answer is not. It's not going to use all those ports. It's going to use some of those ports. But if we put all of those ports and we say we want to block them, then you will end up also possibly blocking some other applications that, which are using ports between 10,000 and 30,000. So how can we do that? So the idea is that what I want to do, and that's something you have to do yourself, once everybody has left the office, you don't have anyone connected to your office, all right? So you just uh, connect to the router yourself, to your phone, and then you open PUBG on your phone. Then with those filter rules, the router, the MicroTech router will collect the servers for PUBG mobile. And based on that, we can block those servers. So let me show you how we can do that. So at this time, I'm at home. My kids are in school. My wife is not home, so I'm sitting alone here. I only have my phone connected to the internet. So what I'm going to do first is to go to the Winbox. And then I have to go to IP firewall, and I will create the first Mango rule. In this Mango rule, I'm going to use pre-routing. Pre-routing means before it enters to the route. And we're going to use the protocol TCP, and I'm going to take those two ports, the TCP ports, those are used by PUBG. So on TCP, it's easy because we know which are the two ports, and I put them on the destination. I'm going to explain to you what I'm doing now. Then I'm going to say here, action is to 
add the destination to address list and I'm going to name it, for example, pub G mobile. And I'm going to leave it for maybe 30 days. So um, let's do it um, now 96 hours. So we can have the days. And now I will change here, I'll say 30 days. So what I'm saying here, I'm saying that anyone who is trying to do traffic to those two ports on TCP, then take the IP of the uh, server that they are going to and put it inside an address list, which is called PubGM. So that's happening automatically. So in a moment, once we open PubG, we shall see inside this address list, PubGM and the list of IP addresses. So I have to collect the list of IP addresses of the PubG mobile servers. And then after, for example, two or three hours, then I will make a uh, firewall filter rule to block any traffic to those servers. All right, so this is done for the TCP. Let's do for UDP. So for UDP, also PUBG use uh, the UDP, as I said, between 10,000 and 30,000. Of course, not the 20,000 ports it uses. It, it uses some ports, but they are between 10,000 and 30,000. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to the MicroTik router again. And also I have to say pre-routing protocol UDP. Destination port between 10,000 and 30,000. Then the action is also to add the destination to the address list and we name it PUBG. And then I'm going to make it for to stay also for 30 days. 30 days. Very good. So now this is uh, working. So uh, you can see that uh, at this moment it looks like uh, my PUBG is open or there are some other traffics for something else. But let's see now. We should see, oh, that's a, a broadcast address. So the broadcast address, we have to take it out in a moment. All right, you can see because as I said, that this is between 10,000 and 30,000, you may get uh, some um, um, IPs which shouldn't be blocked. All right, so I will leave, take this out. So that's fine, I will leave that one now. So all I need now to do is to open PUBG. Let's go to here and I'll open PUBG. So here PUBG has started. Now, once PUBG has started, we shall see. So those two IPs, I need to take them out. I don't want to block them. But uh, we can see over here on the mango rule that uh, we start having some traffic. And uh, let's have a uh, look now on uh, the PUBG. So uh, I go to Visual. So here we go. We can see that it has started collecting some IP of the servers of the PUBG. So this is the PUBG now is loading. So now what you can do, you can just uh, play, like uh, go to the game and uh, do some some traffic, because once you do that, then MicroTik Router will be collecting the servers. And you can see, here we go, the servers are being added one after the other. So just uh, keep your game open for like one, two hours, play yourself. <laughs> I don't like to play PUBG, but you can play yourself. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, just play for one, two hours, whatever you want uh, time. And then uh, once you do that, then the uh, MicroTik router will be collecting all those IPs for PUBG. So let's see. I don't know what I have to do now, but I'm just uh, making some movement. And uh, yeah, so it will collect all those IP addresses of the servers. Of course, the longer you can do, do that experiment, the more IP addresses you will be getting. All right, very good. So let's say that now it's still getting some IPs, but those I need to take them out. So what I'm going to do now is just to stop PUBG. So I'll go to here even though that it's still collecting some IPs. Let's leave it for a moment. I think now he needs to jump from uh, the airplane. Sorry guys, I really don't know what I have to do. 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, I think I saw it that he needs to jump from the airplane. All right. Yeah, let's jump. So again, you just make some traffic, you play PUBG, collect all those servers, and uh, then be careful that you do not have any other devices on your network. So only your phone is the one which is connected to the network, because then it can collect all those IP addresses for PUBG. All right, so uh, now what I'm going to do is just to come here and uh, then what I can do in case, for example, the next day you want to block those traffic to your users. So what you can do, you can come over here on the uh, Mango rule, for example, and you just uh, disable those to collect the servers for PUBG. All right, because as I said, you may have some other applications. So you disable those servers. Look here, like this one is to broadcast. This one is for my router. I have to take them out. And this one is a broadcast also. I will take it out. So those are the PUBG servers that I have for the moment. All right, now, now with our experiment, in case I do the filter rules to block those uh, address lists uh, over here, those IPs, possibly PUBG will keep working because we didn't wait to collect all the IP of the servers of the PUBG mobile, but we will try. So now I have all those IP addresses. Now, if you don't want them to stay as dynamic, what you can do, you can come over here and uh, to uh, here and you have to say IP firewall export, um, or you can say IP firewall address list export or uh, let's say print, we have to print them. So what you can do, you can just uh, take those IP addresses that they are here. You just uh, make uh, a comment, you write IP uh, address list, and then you put those, then you make them static. That means, because now after 30 days, they will go away. So it's better for you to make them static. So let me show you how you can make them static. So first you need to delete those ones because those are already there. But you can come here and you copy, for example, that one. And you open here and you say PUBGM, you put that IP address and apply. Of course, now it can't be because it is already there. But if you want, let me show you how you can do it. So this one, we take it out. And now I'm going to re-add it. And here we go. So you can see it's now static. It will never go from your address list. All right, so now you have uh, this uh, um, available. So now what you can do, you can go to the filter rules and over here, so we have the mango rules are finished now. We don't use them. On the filter rule, I have to go and say, anything which is forward going from my LAN and my LAN, remember we have seen that. So if you want, I can just show you my LAN. So my LAN it is, if I say IP config, this one, 10.0.0.0. So 10.0.0.0 slash 24. So that means any traffic going from my router to the internet, which is coming from this range and going to the destination address, which is PUBGM, then the action is to drop. Yeah. So that's what you are doing. So now PUBG is still open. You can see it has started dropping. So uh, in a moment, we should see that uh, this guy will not be able to be connected to the internet, to actually to the PUBG anymore, because it will drop uh, the uh, connection. So uh, a good idea is that we can wait a little bit. In case it is still connected, then that's because we didn't gather all the IP of the servers for PUBG mobile. But uh, as you can see, it's already now blocking. That means in a moment we shall see that possibly, yeah, here we go, loading. So it started blocking your PUBG. And in a moment we shall maybe uh, lose connectivity to, uh, to, uh, to this game. So I will wait for a minute or something. If it doesn't do that, then I will try to log out and log in again to the PUBG mobile to see what's gonna happen. 
In case it stays working, then that means it is using some other servers that uh, allowing this to go out to the PUBG Mobile, and those servers are not yet listed here. All right, so I'm just pressing on or stressing about this idea so you know why it may possibly still be working now. So I see that it's still working at this moment. So let me just uh, close it. So I'll say here, I want to close. And I will try to reopen it again. So I just want to close completely. All right. So now I will try to reopen the game again. You see here that this is adding, so it's blocking now the game for PUBG. Let's say if it's going to be opened or not. Let's wait a little bit. So for now, it's still opening. It means there are some servers that we did not collect them. I would like to re-enable those and see if it can capture some servers. So here we go, we have one that's captured. Let's have a look now. So I'm not sure what we need now to do, it's loading. Let's check if the filter rules is still blocking. Yes, it is still blocking. So I don't know if this game is still now working or not. So I have here loading. If I press on start, nothing is happening. Possibly it's loading the game, could be. But if you look here to the address list, then it has added one address for server which was not added before. It's again adding this broadcast. So I'll have to remove that one. Let's go to the game again. Here we go. Here we go. Server did not respond. Please return to the login page. Yeah, excellent. So it's not working anymore. So that means what we can do now, we can stop those and we can know that, okay, we are now sure that those are the list of servers that is not allowing the PUBG mobile to work and it is blocking. And look, I have tried again and it's saying server does not respond. Please try again. Very good. So the mission is working. You can see that we have now PUBG is completely down, mobile. Sorry for your... Uh, colleagues at work, but they should not play PUBG Mobile when they are at work. So uh, also in case, uh, for example, you want to block PUBG for your uh, kids, they are playing at home, then you have MicroTicrouter, that is how you can do it. So this is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, video. I hope it was informative for you. In case you like my way of teaching and you like my video, please subscribe to my channel and please make like to the video and share it to your friends so people know more about my work. Thank you very much for your time and till next time.